guys, welcome back to another workout. Today we are going to be focusing all on the lower abs and I also want to talk to you guys a little bit about losing belly fat because that is one of the most asked questions that I get, especially on Instagram. Everyone always wants to target this kind of area of their belly and lose belly fat. The truth is you can't really spot reduce fat, but you can focus on toning that area building up that muscle and also incorporating more cardio and hit style workouts to help you lose that fat. But for a lot of people, this area is where they hold on to their fat and that's kind of like the last place to go. So my advice to you is don't stress about it. Just enjoy, enjoy your journey because your fitness is a very long journey and you have to enjoy the process instead of focusing on the end result. Yes, we are going to focus and target on those lower abs, but just enjoy it and have fun with it. So without further ado, we are going to get started with this lower abs routine. It is a 10 minute routine all focused on the lower abs. If you have done some of my lower abs routines before, they are very similar. We are going to be doing some of the same exercises. They aren't as intense as some of my other total core routines, but it will be intense for your lower abs. So you will need just an open area, something nice and soft to lay on because we are on the ground for the majority of this workout. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start on the ground like so. What I want you to focus is on not having this area open. You should be tucking the bum under and pressing that belly to your spine and we're just gonna walk our feet out while keeping that lower back pressed into the ground. This is going to help you learn how to engage your lower abs and hold that position and it's almost kind of like a warm up for this routine. So never let the small of your back come off the ground. That's going to be the focus for this whole workout and that's all you're going to hear me say but you need to be reminded because that's the only way you're going to engage those lower abs down here. It also might help you to keep your hands on that area so you can tell if you're engaging it or not throughout this workout. Alright, staying in this position, fingertips to your ears, you're going to take a crunch position, legs come up, you're going to drop your legs as far as you can without your lower back coming off the ground, and then bring it back in, even if it's only 45 degrees. Pretend like there's a sheet of paper or something that you're just pressing into the ground. You don't want it to fly away in the wind or something like that. That might not have been the best analogy, but you get what I mean. All right, now we're gonna do some reverse crunches with a leg drop. So legs come down as far as you can and crunch upward. Engage those abs as you're crunching upward. more seconds here. Focus on every movement. All right, coming into a V sit position. You're just going to hold it here and pulse and breathe. Keep the 
the chest open, you should feel your lower abs. 30 more seconds here. more seconds. If it 
helps put a hand on your lower ab area to really feel the engagement. Try to think about releasing any tension you may have in your hips. All right, back onto our hands. You're going to leg out to the side, back in. Back to pulse, and then we're going to do the other side. So if you're really focusing on tucking that bum under, keeping your belly button to your spine, you shouldn't feel it as much in your hips. That's one of the most common complaints when doing things like leg drops, is people don't feel it in their lower abs. They feel it in their hip flexors. And most of the time, that means that they're not tucking their booty under. All right, last movement of this exercise is switching to the other side. Leg comes out to the side and back into center. that booty under I'm gonna say it a billion times in my videos but it honestly makes the world of a difference and really helps you learn to engage those proper muscles the way I learned to do this was I was a ballet dancer for like 16 years of my life that's I did competitive dance and all we had to do was tuck our bums under and my ballet teacher would be going like this at my lower abs so I really learned how to properly engage my abs and the light bulb just kind of went off when I was doing ab exercises is Ah, I need to bring my ballet training into this and tuck my bum under and that way I can really target those lower abs when I'm doing things like leg drops. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here because I have lots more videos coming every day for you guys here on Mad Fit throughout the month of December and I will see you guys in the next video.